five percent for one of my challenges. Excellent. Uh, let's do cliffhanger in Lost Oasis. Well, give me a second. I'm talking to As Asher. Yeah, his name's not Asher. It's Asher. Asher and Vuvuzela. Asher Mir. He was one of the gifts to uh, Sweet Baby Jesus. Uh, I think I'm almost caught up to you. I was being 17. I'm saying power wise. Like, I haven't equipped any gear in a while. You should probably look at that. You know, I don't want to do this public fun. event. This public event's probably a blight. You don't want to do the pubic event? No, that, that pubic event's a blight. Like, Once I get my battered gauntlet, guaranteed. I may take off for a minute to go do that. Yeah, when that pops, that it'll be good. That way I have a minute, and um, I can also get start working on trying to get the, the burn hammer. The ball again? That blasted, rock-shaking, concentration-shattering oh, machinery! Oh, I'm rather sure a minion. Go find out what's happening and be quick about it! I, I'm, I just popped the thing. Sure, you shouldn't pop things without letting them know first. It's fine, I said surprise. It's fine, I said surprise. Makes everything better. Uh. It makes everything better. Okay, this place to be with a W, and you may be onto something. This one's kind of dicky. Under the sea. Under the shmee. Oh, oh, you're God, fighting the, the cuphead. You're, you're fighting uh, the you balloon know. boss, huh? Well, I'm sitting here listening to her play, and I hear a lot of moaning. I'm like, Gabby, what are you doing? Uh, she's playing with the controller in a oh, vulnerable God. position. She's taking damage on purpose as a result, if you know what I mean. <laughs> What'd you say, Gabby? It's yeah. it's it's like when they have a phone on vibrate and they're like call me, call me again, mm, text me. Oh Asher, we found Vector some kind of construct. <laughs> it's pumping energy into Speaking the Speaking of that, um, when do you want to begin that thing? One hundred percent up to you. We Fuck need to find a day to take off. Uh, apparently, this guy just actually takes no damage. Garbage. Like, what are you thinking? Because, I mean, the lineup is up to you. What day do you want to play a game by yourself, basically? I would like to do Thursday or Friday, honestly. Okay, so Thursday and Friday. Our, best, our best bet is probably to just get good at Neo. Because we only have to do... Out. It's... The DLCs are so short. Yeah. Uh, another question, too. And this is by kind of popular um, poll, I guess. Um, do you guys want to watch us play any of Way of the Demon? Or do you just want us to get good, beat Way of the Demon, and then go straight on to Way of the Wise? Or, or do we do Way of the Demon and Way of the Wise off camera and come back on Way of the Neo? Yeah. I mean, that's definitely a possibility, too. Like, how many times can you watch someone play the same game? I know it adds more right. shit each time, but... Like, there's only so much more shit you can add before it's the same shit. What I was thinking we may do, and this is kind of a hear me out type thing, for those who have, like, a, subs a subscription to you, which I think there's a few in this game. Yeah, I, I um, actually uh, picked up a new follower yesterday. Really? Yeah. Awesome fan base is growing. Um, what we could do is, like, throughout the day, if we get bored, we could start up a stream and just whoever wants to come watch it or can at the time can come watch it. I, I have I mean, a better idea. 
What? How about we have an audience participation stream? We make okay. a lobby. We make a lobby. Subscribers can join. Asher, we found That'd a, be a good idea. injecting something into the ground. But we could have like a Neo PvP tournament. Took it. That'd be awesome if we get enough people to play Neo. Yep, just. Or like any other game that's multiplayer and passworded, we could set up a lobby. We'd have to have a different password every time so that when I do the VODs, they can't just get the password from that. Right. Laugh it off. The Vex are simply planning to transform every planet in the system into a cog at a vast inscrutable like in this, machine. Like if we had Dark Souls, you can set up your own kind of like of world thing where you can only see no stuff by other people who have the same solid. password. Well, when you put it that way. Yeah, and like Dark that Souls 3 is on the wish list. Yeah, anybody who wishes to, um, I know it's a bit early for asking for this, anybody who wants to help out? <laughs> nah, we're alright. We'll get it figured out, but um, Dark Souls is definitely a game that we're wanting to do. Um, as soon as we can, as soon as we can get the um, the resources to get it to play it. I like Whee! super hate this one. What cliffhanger? Yeah. The thing with Dark Souls, though. Is I, I find the multiplayer in Dark Souls 3 to be almost as good as Neo. Like, it's pretty close. Asher, we followed the mine to some kind of sink plate. It's not like Bloodborne, we're trying I'm to get curious. connected, it takes like fucking See three if you hours. can establish a connection with the Vex Collective. What is this? I've thing? designed a virus which might prove useful. You tried to give the Vex an STD? A virus? Huh. <sighs> I hope you know what you're doing. Beast. Well, you know, the Vex assimilated Pokemon, but they accidentally got uh, Brental Floss's parody song, SCP's Gotta Catch Em All. Did you say SCP or STD? STD's Gotta Catch Em All. STD? ST sexually Transmitted Diseases Gotta Catch Em All. Okay, so you did say STD. I thought you were going to say SCP, because I'm like, oh god, that's actually even sound interesting. No, okay, so it's, it's the Pokemon theme, but he's singing about sexually transmitted diseases and how it's always been his dream to collect them. Okay. You look like, um, Lust from Binding of Isaac by the end of it. Pretty much. It's like, there's some good lines in there. My balls are blue, and purple and orange juice. Purple and orange too. Like J's and T's and letters that sound about the same thing are really weird on your mind. You're the only, you're the only one that has a problem hearing it. As far as our group goes, everyone else knows what I'm saying. Well, after everybody turned down, you can maybe not loud on. Knock it, yeah, find myself. I don't know what all these perks are, because I didn't read any of the descriptions. I just bought them really quick, because I had the points. Oh, no. Oh, there's dinguses up here. I never even realized. Dingledorf? Oh, better than Ganondorf's. Better than the moon from Majora, I think. The moon was the best part. The thing was fucking crazy. That's why it was best. Like, it looks like it's constantly in a state of orgasm. Can't deploy the virus. A vex mind is Aren't you? Deeper access. Oh, probably I said the, the moon looked like that. Construct. And I said, aren't You'll you? Not really. Not constantly. 
It's actually a, a real problem for some people. Really? Yeah, like there's a woman who was on... Um, yeah, everything that touched her caused that, right? Yeah, like it was actually the point where it was painful because it was so frequent. I can't remember what oh. program it was, though. I, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what program it was. I got confused. Like, that's one of those things that it's on, just... It's on BBC or something. That's one of those things if you're not thinking about it, it sounds fine, but then once you actually think about it, you're going like, no. <laughs> it's a... Uh, Chinese comic culture. Chinese... Did he just eat my fucking grenade? Uh, it appears that he's feasted upon grenade. That's fucking stupid. Oh god, that was a fanatic, I just knew. Egypt. Oh. Did you just melee a fanatic again? No, a fanatic snuck up on me. Snoo snoo that funny? Snoo snoo that funny. Oh my god, I haven't heard about that. I haven't heard that in fucking What was that even from? Snoo snoo is Futurama, right? Yeah, that's the word. Thank you. Like, I can't even the melee him. What the fuck? Sort of immune to damage. Defense. What? He's immune to damage until he killed a clump of side dogs. All of them? Yep. That side clump is better glass. If it, if it uses glass, it is answer by side clumps. By clumps? Okay, I need a better monitor. Yeah. Can you, can you imagine that when the Cyclops is wearing like a big ass gold mask? And a mustache? Yeah, like a fucking fur. Top hat. Cane. Top hat. What would he call the cane? It doesn't matter. Do you see like floating beside him? Sure. Now the next part. Got like a coat with exquisite tails. He has like a fetish with old like suit attire. It's it's all the daft. That'd be a uh, DAF daft as fuck. Do you think if I fist that guy and hit him, like? Just dome him. He would die and like crash through and keep it. I don't know. We should do it. Yeah. No, I just crashed through the abyss. He's not a physics object, apparently. Ow. Where did it spawn? We got saved from under there. Yeah, it is. Oh, I got my whole super back. Try it again. Yawn. Ha! <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he's like... You just straight up picture. fucked him up. Oh, yes, um. yes. Now return to solid ground before the Vex reconfigure their thought protocols. Those platforms are about to disappear. I just shoulder charge into the teleporter. <laughs> I've just That's a Titan say hello. The collective. Nonetheless, I we both know. Oh, we, we next the virus. We, we, yeah, we I actually hate Vex. Find this it's like the worst Titans ever. Rather upsetting. Here. <laughs> that doesn't sound ominous. Indeed. There you go. We shall allow this experiment to unfold hey, Gabby. in its own time. That's how Titans say hi. Okay. Yeah. Um, now... We have Mindbreaker boots in the Legion Bane. Yep. Guaranteed drops. I'm pretty sure. Your work today was more than acceptable. It was adequate. Okay, so you can queue up the ones that you still need to do. Another chesticle over here. I'm equipping better gear. Should probably do something similar to that. You fucking sick. Actually, I may take off for a second because I have the battered gauntlet done. 
take it off. Take it all off. I'll be right back. Go to a public event. Only 15% done the melted hammer. Go to a public event. I was actually wanting coming. Oh god. It's the only one, so... Maybe someone will show up. Go ahead and get my strike down now. Do you know how much progress you get per kill in public events? Jack and shit! Is it like actually 1% we have to kill 100 enemies? I think it's like Jack and shit, you don't get anything. Well, that's the way we do, so we gotta get something. Thought right, was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, someone joined me. They have a sunshot. If it's Blight, Sunshot's gonna be so good. Or does it be bad? If he kills all the Scions, I'm gonna hit that bad. We'll see. To, like cockroaches. Once you have one, you've crawled forever. All right, let's get this public event on the road. Light, though. Okay, excavation's pretty good. The ball again? The issue with bugs, though, is that once winter starts, you'll like flying in the middle no matter how clean the house is. Always in the windowsills. Crispy because they've been right? there so long, but you swear you <laughs> cleaned it the other day. Right? I found a fucking centipede a couple days ago. I didn't scream. I was like. I drank a little that night, so I was like mildly freaked out, and I fucking swatted the thing into the sink. It fell down the drain. I turned on the garbage filter. What a nice lander sitting all Did you also there. use your uh, cleansing towel? As long as you can take it far, far away I should have. Centipedes freak me out, man. Good thing it's like living... second boss. Well, it's like a living creature. Yeah, things. Anything more than like eight is wrong. So I don't mind. I don't mind octopus. The sloppy, floppy sea spider. It's just a screw with many things. <laughs> <laughs> I like what Broly called it. An octopus is just a screw with numerous penis. That apparently shoots black ink everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah,
if we end up going through a taken world. Yeah, so what you do is first you fight the fallen, then you fight the taken. It doesn't matter what story arc you're doing. That's how we do. By the way, can we kill this ship? Use the ship. Ship are you a physics object? Guess not. This is this is why I don't like striker. All the things I need to strike can't be struck. Feels bad. We're gonna override this before that thing comes back with the ultimate circle. I actually don't mind the image to that person in this particular juncture. Planets, and they look like hippos. Or rhinos. Basically any large. Also fuck you, David. A Valus El Dante. A Valus El Dante? He's just a little stiff, but not fully stiff. Do we have Pandora's cock? Pandora's cock. Pandora? Pandora was a girl, you know that, right? Yeah. And in her box was her collection of synthetic phalluses. They're all from Back then it was called Good Dragon. <laughs> no, they were made by Misery Incorporated. Made by misery. <laughs> Have a decent joke every now and again. Guess what we did. Level 19 is slow. Pandemonium among the cabal. Detonated vehicles. Pulverized a commander. Yes. How do you know? Like. From the unbearable rocket. Your mother. My head. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna go to the farm. I don't think I stole my. I stole your joke from you. That's fine. So I stole your mother from you. If you need cheap humor, just do a bad Sean Connery impression and talk about someone else's mom all the time. Oh my god. Talk about Trebek's mom. Yeah, like Celebrity Jeopardy's pretty good. You ever watch Hacker Jeopardy? That sounds pretty cheaty. It's a, um, you ever hear about a conference called DEF CON? Yeah. It's something they play there. It's hilarious. Do you think they, like, hack each other's mobile phones to send text messages while they're there? No, what's really funny is when you go there, and you try to like stay at a hotel when that's going on. You connect to the Wi-Fi network. And you don't know which one. So really, what you're saying is unfortunately, you your audio quality no longer exists. On the contrary, now that we are together again, we just might stand a chance. The fact is, if we destroy that weapon, we will also ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, Kate stroking his cock. We have each other. Indeed. We all know what needs to be done. The Traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still it's have that I, next I teleport. Find it weird I'm doing it's got limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... 
Like, there will be no Uzela back. is highly intelligent. How do we get in? Unlike you a certain know. Vanguard. The city wall is kind of like hey, this bar. Fuck you. Plenty of places to slip in unseen. So long as you know how. How do you make this teleporter work? Sure I'm going to integrate with it. <laughs> Not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. You need to get your team into like, the city without using any alarms. Why can't we have a female? My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be because good at shooting bad guys. Also, the Vex are only into it's little lights. to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your that, fight. That yes, You're not a, a guardian? You think no, you've cornered the market on the, uh, sacrifice? Kind of sexual, uh, you forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I don't know why they like ghosts so much, they hate us so much. Favor. We're basically the Guardians same entity. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova. Like the ghost can exist without us, but we can't we exist can't without the ghost. More or less, we will have to disable its weapon, and that means getting a certain guardian. Well, technically, you can't. We'll need a good disguise if we're going to fly well, right more, through. Well, well, basically, we're made out of glimmer, and there's a base nearby full. The ghost just reconfigures the glimmer into our in. bodies. We're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Cade, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Because if you look at, the, I don't know if they have the no? same description for Glimmer in Destiny Two, but in Destiny One, they describe they describe Glimmer as like an everything utility thing, like universal utility matter. Right. And you know, so precious a material is obviously just straight up pocket change for everyone. For what else could it be? I'm sitting here listening to story time. Weird story time? Might be. You know the beautiful story time? Well, I'm in the farm, I'm also going to grab some level 20 gear. The hatch jack teach my character to be a striker. But then you won't think of the crucible. I don't, th I don't think, uh... It was on camera when you were doing your rendition of that rant. Oh dear, oh dear. A5530 BLMR and DGS. What, well, the one with, um, Shax? Yeah. <clears throat> shot this, shot that. What about the Crucible? <laughs> Just needs the uh, Crucible shards. Hmm. Anything for you? Don't you mean Crucible Mark? Don't you mean I'm a little Back in Destiny 1, we had Vanguard marks and Crucible marks. What? Well, like, even... Well, before that, shut even. Down Eververse? Not likely. We have two choices here. You know, give up, give that, in. But... Or stand up, brush off the dirt, and face whatever comes. Like, it was worse With than Final Fantasy before. Even in the worst of times, if you look good, you feel good. And this place... It could Tight use a little show. glamour. Like it... Like you so, remember that, brother. What can Eververse do for you today? Oh. I remember. But we but all thanks for remember. shopping Eververse, Guardian. I remember. And if you come down here with me, you'll remember too. Pepperidge Pepperidge Farm. Eververse is here. What about uh, salt and pepperidge farm? Salt and pepperidge farm. Everyone knows Pepperidge Farm, but no one knows Saltage Farm. Should also pick up all these Titan Exotics that have been stockpiling. Ow! 
Goddamn it, Vandal. Randall the Vandal? Randall the Rape. Instead of control. Ha! <laughs> you know I fucking need glass. I realize I'm taking largely exotics, but there's a reason for that. Just having them in my inventory should improve my chances. So that is an energy weapon. I need a kinetic weapon of untold power. Need a heavy oh, oh, untold power. What untold power? Power of voodoo. Voodoo? You do. See, I finally learned it, and you haven't done it in God knows how long. It's because you finally learned it. Fuck you. At least take me to Dindin first. Let's make Devon do it. He won't save you. No, he's a fat, sloppy pig. What'd you say? Fucking sloppy pig. I made you some tea, and then I drank it all. Like a cunt. Come on, salty. Well, because there was nowhere to put my sugar. Some people have no sugar for their coffee and no sugar for their tea. I had the sugar, I didn't have the tea. Like, for me, I have to put sugar in my tea. Well, depending on the tea. Like, green tea, I can do it. Like, it, well, it's it's the song, right? No sugar tonight for my coffee. No sugar tonight for my tea. Except I had the sugar, but not the tea. Talk to me. When I click on Hawthorne in the farm, it's going to put me on a one-way journey to the end of the game. Yeah, don't, don't... Well, kind of. Like, you don't have to immediately do the mission. This outpost is a testament to the I think that... I think I just get cutscene onto the Almighty. No, you don't. Oh, right, we have to hijack first. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Remember that cabal base So we'll do we'll do the hijacks tonight and do we know he's got the almighty and end of the game stuff next time sneak aboard the almighty and shut it down do me a favor put thumos down while you're at it when you give the signal I think it'd be too crowded careful also I also unlock patrols and shit There is shit to do. Do you have knowledge to share? Get the guy. I thought you just straight up get like two levels from the fucking shard. Pretty much. The butler. Back here, bitch. Nothing there. No one ever suspects the butler. Victory. Cutler Beckett. You ever figure procrastination is your brain's way of stopping you from making a terrible mistake? Yeah, me too. See, I volunteered to set up our patrol network. I'll let the dialogue play for these as well. Because what if I screw it up, you know? It's so important. Use that network to run ops all over the system. Supply runs, recon, you Well, it's just so Kay thinking, explaining why he needs you to do? place patrol beacons. But here you are. So competent. So diligent. So ready to do things the right way. I guess what I'm trying to say is... Save me from myself. I'll make it worth your while. We might just even finish Losing up the these Vanguard mini-quests. We I was careless. That's probably a better idea. I took my power for granted. Never again.
Because I mean, like, wherever you go, infiltration seek out experiences that truly itself. challenge you. Yeah, it'd, it'd be better story-wise. We Never just did that all together. If anything dares to come between you and the light, destroy it. it means one more week Let of every story for victory you. sharpen you your mind decide. and body. And Your that, well, one more week for wrath. Twitch, many, many more weeks for YouTube. I'll probably accelerate the series once it finishes and I know how many episodes I have. But right now I'm just putting out one a week. Good luck. As of today, I'm reauthorizing it's a, it's a By the way, delicate balance pacing your content. Serve as the backbone of our yeah. defense against our enemies. One thing I want to do while I have everybody here is to make sure everyone understands. We'll hunt down very, priority very targets, very gather easy. intelligence on our enemies, the, and the undermine plots against humanity. I'm counting on you to show every um, guardian and civilian alike what courage really looks Plus, like. Plus, I'm just so scattered right now. This time but this isn't a solo detail. You'll need a dependable fire team to back you up. What is it that so Cage says? Deepest apologies for that. Team I know the series has been done a while, and there's no excuse for not having the episode done there. and uploaded. But make us proud. Um, but I want everyone to make sure that they understand that that is my my bad, my fault. It's not on Broly. It's not on anybody else. It's my fault. So I will do the best I can coming up here to get those done. Um, I don't have a timetable. I can't going out right now. But um, I will make sure that I get the Broly so get uploaded and we have a finished series there. I just want to make sure while I have the stream here and we weren't, we weren't doing missions that I kind of explained because it is on me at the end of the day and I'm really accountable for it. It's my series. I'm here. Apologies to all. And, um, yeah, there's nothing more really to say about it. I'm doing the best I can to get them uploaded and get them up for everybody on YouTube so they can just have a finished product. Sweet. I gotta do the patrols quest. I mean, I know you kind of mentioned, bro, that you wanted to do that at some point in this. That way, at least there's some explanation. Yeah. And then in the future, as I said, if you just do it as yeah. it happens. Yeah, what I want to do is I, I'm eventually going to spring for a capture card. That way I can just do it on the fly. I don't have to transcode afterwards. The capture card will just do it for me. That is a little bit off, little ways off. I don't know if I'll have it by the beginning of the Metal Gear stream. But, well, also, um, you can... You can uh, do the stream highlights and export like I've been doing. Yeah, I could, and that's probably my better bet, honestly. To Either that or if you if you give me the clips, you can still cut them into highlights and then download the clips and then send them to me. Uh, honestly, what I would like to do is when we do Metal Gear, this is something I should have thought of for a long time. Would be to um, for each time we do what's called an episode, I'll cut the stream off and I'll reboot it. That way, that cuts the video for me. That's really annoying for people to... watching, though. That's fair enough, I guess. And it'll also force an ad to run every time you do that. It will. Well, because you're cutting the stream, and then you're starting a new stream, which is like clicking on another video on YouTube. So if you're well. If you're signed up for ads, then it has a chance to pop another one. Really? Well, never mind that. Actually, that could be more important to watch more right Especially since you're not actually collecting any revenue off it. So it's not even like self-fulfilling. But um, just do, just use the highlights. It's not hard. I figured it out within a few minutes. Also, what, not, and... what you what you might consider is just posting your content to your own channel. Guardians by the Cabal base. There's an Eva catch heading your to. way. Like I, I've been meaning to do that for a long time, and I just haven't done it yet. Thank you, very much. Well, it's good for both of us if we're running separate channels because then we have twice as many chances to get hits and then yeah. if they find one of us they'll probably find the other one you'd be surprised the... how many youtubers that I only discovered because I watched someone else's video like Mathis yeah Mathis is a good example I don't personally go to Mathis's channel but yeah 
I know about Mathis because of Northern Lion. I know about... He, he, okay, here's like some classic YouTube. So, I, I first started watching YouTube because of CoStar, because on the Minecraft website, the tutorial videos were done by CoStar, and I was like, this guy seems pretty cool. I'm not sure about this Minecraft game, but I'll check it out. This and I'll watch this guy. It's pretty chill. Did tutorials, so um, I went his channel, and then I saw he was doing a series called Feed the Beast. I was like, that sounds pretty interesting. And he's doing it with a friend, Avidya Zen. So then I found Avidya Zen. I really liked his stuff. And then I found out that they were that Avidya Zen was associated with this thing called Mindcrack. What's that? Well, it was, it was a group of Minecraft YouTubers. So I found Pause and Pause and Vintage Beef, Ethos Lab. And then from a Pause and Pause video, because in addition to Minecraft, he played Binding of Isaac, he talked about this guy called Northern Lion and how his voice was so gentle that it helped him fall asleep. Not because the content was boring, but because it was so soothing. And I was like, yeah. well, damn, I'm having trouble sleeping tonight. I want to check out this Northern Lion guy. So, And this was back when he was doing um, Wrath of the Lamb, like the original Binding of Isaac. Uh, and then I was like, wow, this Northern Lion guy is pretty interesting. And then he's, he's also become one of my uh, YouTube role models. Mine in a way too. However, I don't play the same type of games. Either. I'm I'm just saying that it started on the official Minecraft page, and ended up. Well, it, the story doesn't end there, but like it went from a Minecraft tutorial video to all that. Like for me, for my channel, what I want to do and my whole angle for it when I actually. Do it, I want to do RPGs. That's going to be kind of much. Because I've always loved RPGs, but I don't know why it's back in my favorite. And I want to encourage that with the um, the story-based games we do. So stuff like Until Fire. Stuff like that. Eventually Heavy Rain. That's another game I want to play. Because that's more in the vein of Until Dawn. Or Chills and Battermore. And I thought about doing LA Noir. I think we've yeah. narrowed in on that frequency. Uh, yeah, I know, I know Northern Lines. Thin out the ground troops a bit. But, um, you won't want anyone I following like you when you I'm go in to reclaim our channel. Really <laughs> but that, that's, part of his, that's part of his charm, is that he's generally... He's, he's not like a hundred and one percenter. Yeah. And I'm not either. My thing with games, usually I like to play games I like to have... I'm a, I'm a community. I like to have something you know, on the phone for conversation. The game is almost more of a backdrop, I guess. If you would have got this down. Oh, yeah, of course, we can ride the music commentary. Whereas with you, it's more of a completion type guy when it comes to games like that. Yeah. And given my ability to record, it's a bit of a problem. Because it takes so l I can literally only play one game of Isaac per week, because it takes so long to upload a single episode. Now we may have found a fix for that. I haven't had time to record a test episode and try it yet, and I also have to buy the program properly because I'm doing a trial right now, so there's a huge ass watermark on it. But if it works, it would actually solve so many problems. Yeah, we've been trying to find, and this is just a good way to put this out. Um, anybody that knows any really lightweight video editing programs, um, feel free to comment on this video because I know this is going to drop as well. Um, just any ideas would help because we're always looking for ways to better our content. And that's just but um, right, have a quick peek around. We want is things quiet lighter, before you pop into that Legion base. Any lighter weight programs yeah. you guys know? Are feel you free to comment, doing Kate's chores? Yeah, so, um, what we found that I haven't tried yet is Wondershare Filmora, and it seems pretty legit. Also, what am I challenging? And it's very lightweight. 
Um, if you want to join me, bro, I'm doing this whole thing. We can cap off the stream with that. Uh, yeah, well, we, we went off on a tangent, so this will probably be the last actual objective we complete. I was just saying, if you want to, you feel free. Yeah, but but anyway. Like, I, I'm on a shoestring budget, so... It takes me a long time to refine my videos. And I mean that both artistically, as in improving the methodology of how I handle it, as well as just, like, taking the video file and making it ready for YouTube. It takes ages. Two hours per... Two hours per clip, and, the, and I have many clips if I use crafts because it's the only thing that most games can handle on the laptop that I have to use. And the real cool irony of this is I have the resources to do, run a really good YouTube channel. I mean, I'm sitting with a pretty good, you know, rig, and I'm just I'm so either busy or forgetful. Like that's my sh my my crux, I guess. Is I I forget things. My memory is not that good. And I'll forget to do something, and I have the ability to do it. I have the ability to get it done in a fairly short order. And I, I've taken video editing classes. I know how Premiere works. I'm very good at it. So, I guess that's my my issue. Which is more much more of a personal problem than Broly, where he's got the fucking everything else. He just needs the equipment. Passion, but no product. Right. But no, um, that's kind of, I guess, the channel's news right now. And a bit of a look into what we're doing. Um, yeah, we're definitely working on improving things. Um, my, me, and myself, Excellent. working on being more consistent about when I get videos out and when I get them done. And even the quality of them. I'm looking into ways to do more like fade outs and better intros and things like that. And that'll, that'll slowly seep in. But, um,. That's kind of what's been on the go right now, and the fact we're going to be doing, like, Metal Gear, and... Did you have another game you were looking at? I can't remember. Uh, well, I was actually suggesting to you for your slot, if you wanted to play, uh, the yeah, other Amnesia. three. Yeah, it's the Amnesia Collection. It's actually all of the Amnesia games. And they're really good games, and they don't scare me too badly, but they're pretty... See, that's they're that's pretty... a, that's the problem, though. People like to see the players shit their pants like, in that kind of game. Like, jump scares really fuck with me, but they're not, like, long-lasting. The games that really get me are games that are more atmospheric. And maybe Amnesia is that way. I've never personally played it. I've watched it, but I've played it. Maybe Amnesia will kind of scratch that itch for me. The thing about Dead Space that always got me was the survival type aspect of it, where you're always low on supplies, you never have a trump card per se, you're always on the back heel. And that's where games really start to fuck with I th I'm pretty sure at least the first Amnesia game is very much like that. Okay, well I'll definitely play through it, and it's definitely very themey for October, so... That's one thing I'll probably do closer to the 30th. Maybe I'll do like a couple streams in the vein of Halloween, and I'll do like a Halloween stream. Since I'm not doing anything on Halloween, because you know, I don't have much else to do. And I'm not sure what your schedule looks like, really, so we'll have to kind of talk about that. I'll but, probably um, be mining the door, but... The l last year, we had a terrible turnout, so I don't expect much for this year. Okay, well then maybe we can kind of... It'd be kind of themey if you have to go and scare the shit out of somebody, so... Well, what I did last year was the Goosebumps movie came out on DVD, so I put the Goosebumps movie on, on my TV, which you can see from the window well when done. you come up to the door. To I just played that, and then handed beacons. treats out. Literally, the, the trick-or-treaters came and stopped before the, the movie ended. You should be able to pick up patrols on wow. Any <sighs> Who among us does not but yeah, that could be fun, and then um, Amnesia, of course, is very... I wouldn't say when scary game, but it is a horror type. When you see him, won't you? And eventually, I do want to get Resident Evil 7 and play through it. I know it's, you know, oh, Resident Evil, yeah, it's not that scary, but I feel like it'd be really fun. And I've always kind of liked Resident Evil games, and this one's done in an interesting way. It's first person, so... All, all the people who um, played it for the hype did it on the VR. Yeah, and I don't have a VR set, and I... I I would like to get one, but the problem with VR is it's so damn expensive right now for what you get. Yeah, there's not a whole lot that's strictly made for it. 
like I love VR. I've tried out the Oculus Rift, and it was an amazing experience. Definitely fucking awesome. But I'm not. It's not why I'm gonna pay four hundred dollars. You know, there isn't that much polished VR content out right now. The only the, the, like I want to try the PlayStation VR strictly because there's a special mode for it in Final Fantasy XV. Yeah, we get to play as Prompto. Yeah, but like, not as in Prompto's story, but through his own eyes. Yeah. It's like, basically a promotional gimmick. I don't think there's a whole lot of content on that mode, it's just neat. But it could be fun. I, I am a purveyor of neatness. Right. Okay, let's take the shortest path to the outskirts. Like, one have, thing I would like to play through is, um, Eve of Valkyrie really kind of piqued my interest. Um, I used to play Eve way back in the day, and I know, yeah, Eve, everyone's tried that probably at least once. I have Very classic sort of MMO type game. Well, you haven't, but a lot of people have. But Eve Valkyrie is kind of more of the space fighter sim, and I've always found those games really fun. Um, Ace Combat was one of my favorites when I was younger, so I wondered how that would be in VR. And they, of course, have not made a quality Ace Combat game in years, unfortunately. But it's really kind of a genre that's dying, and it's really sad. It's because it was so overdone when it was popular. Like, if fighter pilot games and you know, flying games in general. It's really disappointing, because those games were really fun, and they could do a really good story as Ace Combat 6 show. It just, no one makes them anymore. It's like, because, Bandai was the last one to make one. Like, PlayStation 1 had so many of them. It it's just really unfortunate. flooded the genre. And they were almost all shit. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Like, Ace Combat was good, and then there was one other one. I can't remember what it was. But Ace Combat was the predominantly good one. Ace so Combat? Solid, gameplay was How about Ace Attorney? Oh my god. I've never actually played the Ace Attorney games. I've heard they're pretty fun, though. Yeah. It, it's it's more like the, the comic book spiky text bubbles that make it, though. The, the cases oh, cool. are like... It has to depend on your sense of humor. But every it's more everything of a else. Type humor. It, it, it can be, like. Did you know there's actually a Phoenix Wright game that was rated M? Well, isn't the law system like based on Japanese law too, so it's kind of interesting in that manner? Um I haven't played any of them, but my friend in high school, like, played all of them. So, I it's like secondhand smoke, I'm not quite sure what's going on, but it's in me now. Uh. <laughs> or secondhand anything, for that matter. As long as it's not sloppy secondhand. Sounds painful. Nah, it's just when someone gives a handy, then doesn't wash the hand and gives another one to someone else. Ew. That's the sloppy second hand. Sounds disgusting, honestly. Yeah, and now you can't unsee it. It's in my mind! It's like the Phantom <laughs> of the Opera. The Phantom of the Opera is there. The last opera type thing I The last opera type thing I watched was King Todd. You know what's the good thing about Fantasy Opera? Is, you know? There's a there's a live performance of it where Antonio Banderas was the Phantom. And you know he's got a he's got a voice on him. The boy's got a set of lungs. Yeah, he does. But then, you know, Shrek came out, and the problem was, every time anyone heard his voice, they imagined him looking his crotch, so... Kind of yeah. ruined it. 
But they didn't imagine Puss in Boots doing it. They imagined, like, actual Antonio Banderas bending around and licking his throat. Puss in Boots is pretty awesome. Like, he's probably one of my favorite characters. I didn't really like Shrek much, but I like the Puss in Boots standalone That's what I'm talking about. Like, Shrek was okay. I'm not, like, I'm not, like, the same fan level that the internet is. The internet fucking loves Shrek. I thought it was okay. And the other two movies, we don't speak about them because they were just bad. But the Puss in Boots movie was funny. The problem is, there's, like, more than the two other ones. Right. Well, there's, like, fucking four or five Shrek movies now, isn't there? It's, like, insane. Yeah, but... It's... Like, I didn't like Shrek at all. Oh, I didn't. I, I, like, the first movie was okay. It was like, oh, ha, ha, yeah, that's, that's kind of funny. It came out around the time I was a kid, so it's like, okay, whatever. But the other ones were just shit. Yeah. I... They were just so bad. I, I, I just couldn't get into even the first one. But the Puss in Boots movie was pretty well done. Yeah, they were. I need to steal a pike. Kill 20 enemies. Anyway, we're not going to have time to finish all these. On camera. I might not finish them... Off camera, I might just... Wait till next stream and... See if there's easier ones to do well, that we can multitask on. But thanks for watching, and if you're watching the YouTube cut, uh, hit subscribe. Helps it a lot. Slam a like down. Hit comment. Uh, if you're on Twitch, then uh, follow me so that you know when I'm streaming. And as far as I go, um, the videos will be up here soon. Um, again, no time frame, but soon works well. Um, and um, yeah. We'll be doing um, the other streams coming up here, so keep your eyes peeled. We'll have more news next next stream, hopefully. Yeah, literally tomorrow, and all like it. Yep. But for now. But thanks for thanks for watching. Bye.